a league of their own. Our story begins in a town in Canada called Vancouver with two sisters, Marge and Helen Callahan. The girls were only 15 months apart and loved sports. They spent much of their time playing soccer, hockey, baseball, and lacrosse with the neighborhood boys. Many baseball players were drafted during World War II and the teams had to take a temporary break. The solution for this was to create an all-girls baseball league. In 1943, the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League was founded. Marge and Helen Callahan were among the first two women signed onto the league. Girls were supposed to look like women but play like men. They were sent to charm schools to learn how to walk, talk, sit, and do their hair and makeup. After the war ended, men returned to baseball and the girls' league began to disband. People were more interested in watching men's baseball with names that were familiar to them. Only five teams remained in the AAG PBL during the final season in 1954. The Fort Wayne Daisies, Grand Rapids Chicks, Kalamazoo Lassies, Rockford Peaches, and South Bend Blue Sox. Helen Callahan, a left-handed center fielder, retired in 1949. In her career, she took the lead in total hits and tied for the most home runs. Marge Callahan played second and third base. She was forced to retire in 1951 following an altercation with her manager. In her career, she made the playoffs three times and was inducted in the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. Helen Callahan's son, Kelly Candale, created a documentary about his mother's time playing baseball. His story was picked up by Penny Marshall and turned into a major film, A League of Their Own. One, two, three strikes are out at the old ball game. The old ball game, at least the way they played it in the early 1940s, was different. Different because back then a woman's place was at home. It was also at first, at second, and at third. These women are members of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. They played throughout the country from 1943 to 1954. This is a story about the old ball game, their ball game, and the way they played it during a recent weekend reunion of the league in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It was there that a group of veteran ball players from Southern California joined more than 100 of their teammates from across the United States and Canada. They gathered to swap stories, trade secrets, renew friendships, picnic, party, and of course, play ball. 